Welcome to my channel. This tutorial uses the skirt block as a foundation to create a pegged skirt featuring a pleated front waistline and a kick pleat. Check out my Patreon in the description below for a written guide for this tutorial and options for private tutoring in Clo 3D. Let's get started. To make the pegged skirt, we're going to start with a basic skirt block. You can either get to this point by following the skirt block tutorial linked in the description, or I have this file available to my Patreons with the link also in the description. Before we do anything, we need to collect a few measurements just from this skirt block. Uh, the first measurement we need to get is this one right here, which is just the distance below D that is the hip to knee length. So for me, that is 15.5 inches. And then we need to get the circumference of the uh, skirt. So um, I'm just gonna shift click this um, top here, a top here, so that's A, 1, 2, B, um, E, 4, 5, F. And on my cursor it says 13.1, so um, doubling that, that's 20, about 26 inches. Okay, so this is the front pattern here, the A, B, C, D, and then this is the back pattern here, the E, F, G, H. And we, what we want to do is uh, Create the pegged shape by creating these pleats in the uh, waistline of the front, but um, this dart is kind of in the way. We could incorporate it into the pleats, but I'm just going to show you how to rotate the dart into the skirt down here to kind of um, get it out of the way and uh, so we can have kind of even measurements for our pleats. So to do that, we're going to right click line CD, so that's an internal line, and then we're going to choose cut. We're going to go ahead and click this lower skirt pattern with the A tool selected and uh, go ahead and hit delete to delete that. And then what we're going to do is go to the edit pattern tool or the Z hotkey. And that is right over here in the 2D toolbar. And I'm gonna hold shift and click line one, three and two, line th two, three right here. Um, so that they are both selected. It's not selecting select them because they're so close together. It's trying to unselect them. All right, and then I'm going to right click and then choose rotate dart, and then I'm just going to click anywhere on this line C D. Uh, it doesn't really matter where, so maybe around here. And then from here, we're just going to click on point three. We're just telling it how long we want this dart to be. And then now, um, when I drag my mouse, it's going to close that dart, and I'm just going to go ahead and. Um, get it the most close possible and then click to select and this last one doesn't really matter But you can go ahead and click point three to choose the dart length and There we go. We're, all right. I went ahead and labeled these new points. This is 1a 2b 1b That's still point three and that's just to make it easier to follow along in the written guide that is also available on my patreon all right, from here we can go ahead and delete point three by using the edit pattern tool or the Z hotkey, clicking the point and then hitting delete on the keyboard. And then instead of deleting points 2B and 1B, we're actually just going to box select them or shift click to select them both. Then right click the selection and then choose convert to curve point. Because if we just delete those points, we lose all of this curve in the skirt, which is important for balancing the hem. And um, But when we convert them to curve points, then it just kind of gets rid of them. We don't have to deal with them anymore. And we have a nice clean line to add in new points. In addition, we wanna go ahead and check when you delete the points of a dart, the sewing lines remain. So you actually have to go to the edit sewing tool or the B hotkey, find the sewing line that's still here, click it and then press delete. All right, now let's use our add point split line tool. That is the X hotkey and it's here in the 2D toolbar. You just have to click and hold on edit pattern, add point split line. And now that we don't have any points to interrupt this CD line, we can right click it and then choose uniform split and choose two, uh, number of segments three and then click OK. That will be points seven and eight. And then we're going to, with the same tool, this line between A and 1A, we're going to right click that line, uniform split, number of segments, just two, and then click OK, and that will be 0.9. These points are just to give us uh, guide points so that we can create our 
pleats nice and evenly and to do that we're going to use the fullness point tool that's right over here in the 2d toolbar fullness point if you click and hold you also have a fullness line option but we are using fullness point so go ahead and select that and then we're going to click point seven and then click point nine and then when you've done that you're going you've given an option to kind of like move this around but we want to be exact about how um far we want to split that open so we're going to right click and no matter what your size you're doing you can choose distance two inches if you want to experiment with this later for different types of skirts then um you can go ahead and do that but for now just choose two inches and then click ok and then the same thing clicking point eight and then clicking point one a go ahead and spread that open and then right click to make the dialog box appear type in two and then click OK. Those points that just appeared, we're going to call 9A, 9B, and then 1A and 1Z. All right, let's go ahead and add the length back into this skirt. So we're going to go to the Edit Pattern tool or the Z hotkey, and then we're going to shift click this line right here, this line right here, and this line right here, all these three lines on the bottom. Right click that selection and then choose Offset Pattern Outline. And then when this diap log box appears for distance we want to type in that hip to knee distance that we collected um, from the original skirt so that was 15.5 inches number of offsets should be one um, and then for side segment type we want to make sure it says perpendicular that'll create a different shaped skirt than extend well and I think the perpendicular one is nice we'll keep default corner the same um, you don't need to create an internal line and then go ahead and click OK those new points that are now the hem of the skirt we're going to call I and J and now we're we are basically done with the front of the skirt and we can move on to the back we're going to start basically the same way. We're going to go to the transform pattern tool or the A hotkey and that's right up here in the 2D toolbar. We're going to right click this internal line for GH and then choose cut and then we're just going to click this lower skirt pattern and then hit the delete button on the keyboard to delete. Now we're going to go to the add point split line tool or the X hotkey and then right click on this GH line and um, go ahead and choose uniform split and um, number of segments two and then click OK. Now we're going to leave this dart in place because we're just going to um, kind of make it bigger and then redistribute the fullness later. But to figure out how much we want to uh, slash and spread this back pattern, we actually need to lay it over the top of the front pattern. So going to the transform pattern tool or the A hotkey, just click and drag this back pattern, align it over the front pattern perfectly so that you are lining up um, these center top points. So that's point F and point A. And then once that's lined up, you can go ahead and go to the fullness point tool, click point 10 then click point six. And this time, instead of right clicking and typing in an exact number, we're actually just trying to line up this these two points down here. So that point, this lower point that I'm kind of pivoting, we want it to line up exactly on that line as best as we can, and then click to place. So it doesn't need to be exact, but it should be pretty close for a nice balanced um, um, front and back to your skirt. So when we did that slash and spread moment, the point of our dart turned into basically two points. So that's 6A and 6B. Go ahead and just shift click those points and then hit delete on your keyboard to delete them. All right, and I'm also going to move these patterns back so I can see what I'm doing. So going to the transform pattern tool, just go ahead and move um, this back pattern to the side again. And uh, there you go. Okay, now the points four and five, those used to be the basically the points where the dart legs are, and now they're spread far enough apart that we can just make them the actual um, center of our new darts. So going to the edit pattern tool or the Z hotkey, go ahead and right click point four and then choose add dart. And that's going to give you an option for the total width. What we actually want to do is get out of this dialog box and click this line that is four to five. Um, it's about four inches. 
this dart is going to be half of that and then this dart is going to be the other half so that they will both be two inches each. So then right clicking that point again, add dart, total width two inches, length, I think six inches is a good amount, but you can play with that depending on the aesthetic you're going for. And you can keep shape dart cap selected, go ahead and click OK. And this next step, it just wants you to press enter to shape the dart cap. So go ahead and do that. So press enter and there's our dart we're going to do the same thing with 0.5 so right click using the edit pattern tool add dart we want it to be two inches wide uh six inches long okay and then press enter all right now we just need to add the length back into the back pattern so going to the edit pattern tool or the z hotkey shift click this line down here and this line down here and then right click the selection offset pattern outline and the same thing as the front the distance will be that 15.5 inches number of offsets one and uh, side segment type perpendicular default corner okay with that extended we can now sew these two skirts together and um, let's go ahead and go to the segment sewing tool or the n hotkey and we're going to go ahead and click this line here and this line here to just go ahead and sew that side seam. Something I forgot to have you do a little bit earlier was delete the seam <laughs> lines from the old dart. So going to the edit sewing tool or the B hotkey that's up here in the 2D toolbar, just click this sewing line that's at the top um, for B to 4A and then hit delete because we don't need it anymore. All right, at this point, we just need to create the waistband and then a few other little details to make a skirt that will simulate nicely. So for the waistband, we're going to go to the rectangle tool. That's the S hotkey right here in the 2D toolbar. Click anywhere in the 2D window. And for width, we're going to use that one half waist circumference amount. So that's 13 inches. Remember, we got that from the very beginning. And then the height is just going to be one inch. And then go ahead and click OK. We're going to call those points that we just created M, N, O, and P. So let's go ahead and right click M, O with the edit pattern tool or the Z hotkey and then choose unfold symmetric editing with sewing. And now we need to sew the waistband to the skirt. Thankfully, we only need to do half, but it's going to be kind of annoying to do and I'll show you why. So we're going to use the free M, N, free sewing tool and that's right here in the 2d toolbar you have to click and hold free sewing to get the m to n free sewing option and we're going to start by clicking point o and then clicking point p and then we need to press enter to say that's everything on that sewing line and then starting at the center front we're going to click point a then 9a skipping over that segment 9b 1a skipping over the next segment 1c then B, and then moving on to the back, we're gonna click on E, then 4A, skipping over the dart, 4B, 5A, skipping over the dart, and then 5B, F. And once you've made it to F, you can go ahead and press Enter to complete that sewing. We also want to sew the center backs of the waist, so we can do that with the segment sewing tool or the N hotkey, and that is here in the 2D toolbar. Just go ahead and click the NP line and the same one on the other side, and that will sew that center back seam on the waistband. Now we're going to go to the Select Move tool, so that's the Q hotkey. And with that tool selected, it's, oh, it's also up here in the, two, in the 3D toolbar. With that tool selected, we're going to go Shift F on the keyboard to make these arrangement points appear. We're going to click on the waistband, click on the most logical point on the body on the waistband to place it. And that looks like good, that will simulate well. And with that there, we can go ahead and simulate and see what we've made. All right, so it's gonna sit a little bit lower on the body because the waistband is actually, I think, a little bit big on her. But um, besides that, it's looking pretty good. Then, But you, you'll notice that these pleats don't really know what they wanna do yet. So we actually need to tell Chloe what we want to, <laughs> to do with those pleats. And to do that, we're going to convert 
two of these base lines into internal lines so that we can add fold strength and fold degrees to them. Um, you'll notice that if I go to the edit pattern tool and I try to click on these purple lines, they are not able to be selected. So to make them selectable, go to the uh, 2D display options right up here and um, hover over this last icon and the one that's blue it says lock baseline just click that and it'll actually unlock these baselines and i'm able to now select them so the two i want to select are this 7 9b line and then the shift click the 8 1c line right click those convert to internal line and you'll see that now they've turned red while they're still selected go ahead and open up your property editor and under fold strength go ahead and just shift that to 100 for now you can adjust that later if you want and then fold angle we want to take all the way down to zero now we can simulate um, but it still doesn't really have a lot of conviction something that helps these folds simulate better is by strengthening the pattern uh, so if I go back to that select move tool or the Q hotkey, I can right click the front and choose strengthen. That's also control H. And then um, now uh, it's, it's, it's doing a little bit more what I want to do. Of course, it doesn't really have very high definition because I am working with a 20 particle distance, but you can get the idea. Let's go ahead and now that the pleats know where they want to go, go ahead and right click and unstrengthen. Great, the last thing we need to do is add a kick pleat in the back. So I'm going to look at the back, you'll see that it's pulling, it's gonna be hard for her to walk in this skirt because there's not a lot of room. So to accommodate that, we're gonna add a little pleat. Now this back piece as is, is unfolded on the fold. So we kind of need to cut it in half and then uh, duplicate it as a symmetric pattern as opposed to a pattern on the fold. So going to the edit pattern tool, just right click this line, this center line, and just choose cut. Now you can choose whichever side you want. Ignore my sporadic annotations and um, just hit delete on the keyboard to delete one of the sides. Now click the other side. This is with the transform pattern tool and choose control or command D to duplicate with symmetric sewing. And there you go. And now let's go ahead and go back to the add point split line tool or the X hotkey. Clicking somewhere down here, this is line, if you're following along in the pattern, my annotations went everywhere, but this is line HL. So click close to L and then choose um, for line one, go ahead and type in eight. That's a respectable pleat. And then choose okay. And um, from here, go to the segment sewing tool or the N hotkey and just uh, sew this upper part of the back closed and press space bar to simulate. And there you go. We can go ahead and um, choose high res garment to see a little bit closer to maybe what this might look like. And there you go. Thanks for watching and I look forward to helping you out with the next tutorial.